Well, I'm out here again this morning looking for those gold and silver bugs. We're having a heat wave. It's almost 43 degrees. So it ought to be pretty fun hunting this morning. So we're going to see what there is. And there we have it, folks. There's the first quarter of the day. It was kind of deep. It was several inches in there. But uh, there it is, and we're going to keep looking. See what else is out here. Okay, folks. I'm getting, I've always, I, well, I found a couple of rings around trees like this, and I'm getting a good 92, 93 signal. Right here at the base of this tree. So we're going to dig that, see what it is. I am, got my hopes up. You never know. This stuff fools you from time to time. But right there by the base of that tree I have found, or by other trees I have found, good little silver rings and stuff and I got fooled this time let's what I don't know what that is I found another one of those just a minute ago and uh, they ring good and I don't know what that is it looks like a rolled up piece of copper or uh, some kind of metal and then it's kind of pinched off so well I got fooled on that one I was thinking I had me a little ring right next to the base of this tree and I got me a rolled up piece of copper or something it's pretty heavy Anyway, well, we'll keep looking. Okay. I'm working here in the flower beds, actually, of this school right here. And I got an 88 signal right here, and I was being real careful because I didn't want to turn anything up. And I kind of flipped this over. And I thought I had something good. I saw this little ring right here. On the outside of this it turns out to be just a flat a flat uh, bottle cap but it sure sounded good and when I saw that ring right there that uh, of the top and I thought I had something good so once again I get fooled and uh, we'll keep looking and see what else is here there's got to be something good somewhere now this is something interesting I haven't found this before uh, this was ringing at about a 79 or 80, and I dug it up, and it's actually glass, but it's got metal wire running through it, so it's kind of interesting. That's why it kind of picked it up, I guess, but uh, I've never found that before. That's kind of interesting, and that's also why I always wear gloves uh, when I'm digging. Now, I'm holding this with my hand, but I always wear gloves when I'm digging stuff up because I have dug up a lot of glass before. Uh, on the end of bottle caps and stuff like that. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this dime come out of the ground and it just looks too shiny or too clean to be a regular dime. My guess is that silver. I haven't turned it over yet, but we're going to take a look at it and see. It's a Roosevelt. And it looks like a 19, don't have my glasses on, looks like a 1962 or 63. So that's pretty awesome. 62 I think it is. 1962 and it looks like a D. I'll clean it up and show it to you later. But uh, that's silver folks coming right out of the ground. And the, when you see them come out of the ground like that and they're so clean... A lot of times that looks like it, it, it indicates that it's silver. That's pretty awesome, and it's in really good shape, too. 1962 silver dime. That's awesome. Well, folks, I think this is it right here. I will take this hole. This was ringing at 80, and I'm right here beside a tree. It's a little ways off. Sometimes I find stuff by these trees, and... This one was ringing at 80, and it looks like a little mood ring. That's what I thought I found yesterday. This looks like a little mood ring, and I think it is. So that's pretty cool. I always like to find some little piece of jewelry or something, and that's a little mood ring. Somebody lost here. It's just junk. But uh, it kind of indicates that there are there are things here that people lose and it hadn't all been found yet so 
that's kind of neat kind of neat I'm gonna keep hunting a little bit I'm almost done for the day but we're gonna keep hunting and see if there's a little bit more out here maybe not we'll see okay here's today's finds Have a few zincs right here a couple of rows of dimes four rows of pennies right there and a lot of pennies I'm digging a lot more pennies because I'm finding a lot of stuff down in that range seems like and some of them are kind of bent that one's kind of bent up right there and that one's kind of bent up but I'm finding some good stuff down in the penny range and so uh, I've been hunting more of those and digging more of those up uh, several quarters here I did find one nickel and uh, the unusual things not sure what that is some kind of a clip of some sort this is a zipper pull and this is a whole different school but I uh, still found another one of those goofy uh, connections not sure what those are I found several marbles I've been finding marbles I, I find marbles occasionally and I got a jar I keep those in I'll show you all those one of these days but did find some marbles I walked and hunt and found a marble and walked and hunt and found another marble not sure how they got out there or why but did find that this is a penny that I found and somebody has cut it out so it looks like a four-leaf clover on the inside but it is made out of a penny a copper penny and uh, someone cut out a four-leaf clover from it I didn't find the four-leaf clover but I did find the whatever was left of the penny this is that dime I found it's a 1962 D and so it looks pretty good it was a nice Nice little find. That's one of those silver bugs I've been looking for, so we did find a little silver today. Uh, this is just a bracelet, some kind of a bracelet. It did have some gold color to it at one time. It's kind of corroded. That's kind of neat. I always like to find a little piece of jewelry or something. And Then I did find this mood ring, and it's kind of interesting. It's got a wire or something that kind of runs all the way through it, you can see there. And... Uh, kind of different than some of the ones I found before but just another mood ring so didn't find anything good except for that I did find this wheat penny this is a 1950 D wheat penny so I found that a uh, silver dime and this little interesting piece here it's kind of neat uh, we'll get out there and hunt again in a day or two and see what else we can find that's pretty neat y'all get out there and hunt